Look at India. In a world that lacks leadership globally, Asia has a lot of leadership locally. And Modi's win is huge. I was in India a couple months ago, and I was astonished at the biggest complaints that I heard domestically. I heard that Modi's traveling too much, spreading himself too thin, not able to follow up as much as people had hoped. I also heard that Arun Jaitley, who is the extremely competent minister of industry, communication, commerce, and like three other things, because the Modi's actually consolidated what had been a 70-person cabinet, is working so hard that he looks sick and that they're worried about his health. I gotta tell you, the idea that in India those would be your two, two biggest complaints is astonishing. Right, I mean, this is a country that never had leadership of a party and now you have Modi that actually controls the BJP. This is a government that actually shows up for work. This is a government that actually isn't corrupt. Truly isn't corrupt. That's astonishing in India. Now, don't get me wrong, the place is decentralized, it's gonna take a long time, but you have a good nine chief ministers of key provinces along the Western Industrial Corridor. So it's Maharashtra, it's Modi's own historic Gujarat, you look at Hyderabad, you look at Bangalore, and these are places that are aligned with Modi and they are implementing policy and they are gonna take off. And that's exciting because India has been such a disaster story for decades. So you look at major economies in Asia and despite all of these geopolitical tensions, it actually looks pretty good in the near term. Now I do believe that longer term, India's rise will make it very clear that it's the China-India conflict that we have to worry about, not China-Japan. Because the Japanese are not gonna build a meaningful military. Their population is shrinking. They're not competing with the Chinese economy and they won't be over the long term. They're at very different stages of development. They just hate each other historically. But India-China, if India is actually getting their game on, when you see Modi going to Vietnam and saying, we'd really like some blocks for exploration for energy in return, we're gonna sell you a bunch of Coast Guard vessels so that you can deal with the Chinese more effectively in the South China Sea, that long term poses a serious problem. But not today, not 2015, not 2016. So Asia geopolitically 